Welcome back. Episode Don't two. Woo! If Part you, two, interview with hashtag Team Bar. If you haven't seen episode one yet, go back. We'll have it linked. That's, that's Iris. She's about to knock the camera off. We'll have it linked below. We'll also have it in the iCard up here. So go watch part one before you watch this. Episode two of Barb. Hashtag Team Barb. This is my mother, Brad's mother-in-law. The kids are in bed. What was your first job? Betty and I were hostesses at a golden oh, buffet that? type thing, but it it was uh, a restaurant down in North Kansas City and there was all these different rooms, and so we had to just run around and find empty tables and come back. And that was your first job. Was, what was your? We were probably like fourteen then. Favorite job? Working with me. <laughs> being, <laughs> yeah, being dad's employee. <clears throat> were you an employee or co-owner? What was the dynamic I was there? I was the boss. Oh, okay. Dad was the boss. You were the. Mm -hmm. Subordinate. Mm. <laughs> oh. What exactly? And he did still you do? is asking me questions, and uh, I haven't been working with him for. She since like we were your out, we were your out, out to get out of the, the company, crash. right? Right. Made you lunch. Yeah. I think my favorite job was teaching, probably. PE mm -hmm. or substitute? No. So you started substituting, right? Mm -hmm. Like you did that first when we lived in Kansas City, right? Right. For a little while, mm -hmm. and then. Yeah, I even subbed in your class. That's right. I remember that. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. She was my substitute teacher. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to the lake and you were a part-time PE teacher mm -hmm. and then full-time. Yes. I was waiting for you to elaborate. I was, yeah. I was, I was, but all of those I questions were to guide you in to just take over and <laughs> I'll tell your story. So she right. substitute taught in Kansas City, and then we moved to the Lake of the Ozarks. Um, so do you think it was the full-time PE teacher that was your favorite? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you taught elementary PE. I'll keep going. She taught <laughs> kindergarten through fifth grade PE. And mm -hmm. I enjoyed those little kids. Tell me what your funniest moment teaching was. Oh yeah, this would be good. I think I've said this before. The funniest was when the kindergartners, I tried to teach them how to hula hoop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just like kind of what we were doing with Lindlow and Bear the other day. Oh. I mean, they It's a hard skill. The, the it's not easy. cutest little moves, you know? <laughs> Kindergarten would be cute. Yeah. Barb's really impressive at the hula hoop. Well, she taught, she taught health and PE, though. Mm -hmm. So she would spend some time in the classroom and you I actually developed that program because they didn't have help in Did not know that in the elementary and so um, yeah I started it in the fourth and the fifth grade okay and it was fun would you do like human anatomy yeah I did to fourth all and fifth the body grade? systems and then I did, did you say the word penis <laughs> what was that question I said you say I right said now? anus <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was I that? did say that. That's what I thought you were going to say was your funniest moment. What did the kid say that was like... He had a question, but I can't remember now exactly how. He something about an anus. Yeah. Okay, I can't remember the details. But nobody, none of the kids laughed. I mean, they none of really? them knew. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know what an anus was, and you no. were up there like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I taught yeah. one, too, on bicycle safety and helmets and things like that. Yeah. And that was... That was really good. I ran into, um, on the web, there was a website about bicycle crashes and it talked about stories of different things that happened and and kids that had helmets, kids that didn't have helmets and so forth. And man, those kids, you could hear a pin drop in the room when I'm reading these stories. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. That is good. Yeah. We we'll had to do that for Baron Lindell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were very... Uh, I-D-H-C-B-H, how is being a grandma? Exclamation, exclamation. I'm getting ready to be a grandma for the first time on Monday and I can't wait. Congratulations. So congratulations. That's What's your favorite part about being a grandma? It's just, just giving them back. Awesome. <laughs> right. <laughs> giving them back? Yes. <laughs> Taking the kids and then giving them back as to the As soon as they uh -huh. start crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's different with your own kids because you're always feeling responsible for them and, and with these guys, you know, you get to just enjoy them totally. Spoil, the, totally spoil the crap out of them. You totally understand that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in the iCard here, we'll link the Dennis, Dennis interview where he talks about meeting Barb. But Pam Hunter wanted to get your version of how you and Dennis met. Dennis's best friend was dating my best friend. I don't know. 
And so that's how we got introduced. I was not dating anybody at the time, so I was kind of an open slot. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh <laughs> Showed his feet. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> and Whatever, slut. <laughs> But tell that story about you guys were, you thought he couldn't speak English. You thought, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So he had been living in Germany and he came back and. <laughs> and so, yeah, I thought he spoke German and didn't know English that well. He gets hot. That's that's cute. That's but a great story. Isn't that good? <laughs> that's All just right. A great so story. let me think here. Well, there was something funny about it. TPing. Something yeah, about. we were TPing the house. She wasn't talking to him or something because she didn't. Yeah. Think he could but then that was like a year later <laughs> then that um, we actually went out on our date. And then after I went out on the date with him, then I thought, okay, Careful. you know, it's pretty cute. And, we had a lot of fun, and I, I think hit it off. Did you guys kiss on your first date? Oh, oh. I'm sure we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I slid her the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right. Do we want to stick on that same theme, or can I go to another question? I think that's all we have for that one. All right. Did you always have the name Rachel picked out? If not, what other names did you have picked out, whether she was a girl or a boy? I don't think I had it picked out for a long time. Annie was named after both of our mothers. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't really have anything for you, but I always liked Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So I knew I wanted to have that. And mm -hmm. of course my aunt was Elizabeth. Elizabeth is strong in our family, mm -hmm. which we have carried on. And I think Rachel was just a very popular name for the, that day. Could have been. Um, I definitely didn't grow up with a lot of Rachels, though, interestingly. No. no, I didn't. I wasn't like, in my generation, Ashley, Jessica. Um, there were a bunch of names that were Sarah, mm -hmm. really common. And Rachel didn't seem like one of those, at least where I grew up. Right. And especially not spelled R-A-C-H-E-L. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle Bridges, how many Hallmark ornaments do you own? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Should we ask Dennis? Well, since Dennis is sitting here, then I can't really say. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Uh huh. Like hundreds. Hundreds. So Thousands. Your your sister's husband worked for Hallmark. Right. Does that mean you get a family discount? Mm hmm. We did. So at least there's that. Yeah, yeah that's true. Mm hmm. Uh, what is your favorite memory together of just you and me? I didn't ask this question. Mm -hmm. I just am curious to know what the answer is. These are hard. These are hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were a mama's girl. Mm -hmm. I think the the favorite kind of time of our life was when we used to ride back and forth to school together. Mm -hmm. Because we were in the car for like 45 minutes. I feel like that back was and forth the every most day. dynamic part of our relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was when we really started like genuinely communicating. Right. Yeah. Whether for good or for bad. I feel like I was a pickle as a teenager though. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just felt like we, like I picked fights a lot. When we first moved to the lake especially. When we first moved to the lake from Kansas City I was oh, yeah. a little bit you distraught. did want to, yeah you didn't want to move. No. <clears throat> I would and say, here you are living here. I know, and I'm back. <laughs> right? I think my favorite time or moment was when I had a relationship that was into all the way into an engagement that ended up being broken off. And yes. you, like the within hours of that mm -hmm. engagement being broken off, you were in St. Louis with me. Me and you were drinking wine. Yes, we that was fun. We were shopping. We were going to yeah. dinner together. Yes. Drinking wine, just like mm -hmm. you were there. Sounds like sex in the city. Drop of a hat. <laughs> like my best friend yes. through that whole mm -hmm. ordeal. Right. And that was. Yeah, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Court wants to know who your favorite Peloton instructor is. I think I'm going to have to say Christine now. I love Christine. I do too. I mean, well, her or Allie, because. Not Dennis? 
Yeah, what happened to Dennis? I still like Dennis. Is it the hair? Is Not it her husband. Does he cut his hair? No. <laughs> he doesn't have long hair anymore. I just like the support and the what Christine, their encouragement and and Allie and Allie on Sundays. You don't feel like Allie well, has a little bit too much fluff when Christine is like. I like she Christine doesn't fluff a lot. It. She seems genuine. She is genuine. I, and I love Jess King. I love Jess King too. What I, I like it. about Christine too, though, is you know she wanted to be a ballerina, <laughs> and she couldn't be a ballerina <laughs> because of her body. Uh huh. And then she found bicycling and yeah, that's interesting. Won races and mm -hmm. and then that hands on your backstory. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that I mean I I was gonna do a sermon which I don't have to do now. Because. Oh, you don't? Mm. Kristen wants to know, in what ways do you see yourself mirrored in Rachel's mothering style? <laughs> Where are you finding these questions? Mm -hmm. They're on Instagram. Follow at Brad and Rachel. Seriously? <laughs> Rachel is very um, on top of the kids, like watches them like a hawk, and I did that too. Oh, a helicopter mom. Yeah, pretty much. But you have to, Brad. <laughs> yes, Mr. Sunscreen Gasoline in the Backyard. Yeah. <laughs> what? They're fine. Right. Hey, gasoline tanks nowadays have child-proof <laughs> lids. Okay, whatever. So, I think if, yeah, if, going back to the pet peeve thing, I think women and men watch kids differently. Oh, let's go back to that, yeah. <laughs> so, what would be uh, your pet peeve about Brad then? Watching the kids. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I'd be like, don't let them do that. I know. You know? I know. They can't I know. do that. I have to bite my tongue so many times. Mm -hmm. every day. It's not very often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's pretty good. Yes, he is. We'll say that. How do you think, I can't remember who asked it, but somebody asked, that we live so close to family, your two sisters, us, how is it that we maintain a close relationship? Like, what's the key? How do you feel like this works so well? We like each other. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to like each other. You guys need babysitters? Great <laughs> yeah. yeah, be willing to babysit. Oh yeah. gosh, the problem is we need a babysitter so often for things that we actually need that we don't ever get to lean on you for things that we want. You know what I mean? That's true. When Rachel and I, I want to go on a date or do something, we, we want to so take bad about we want to take Dennis and Barb with us. Yeah, we do like to hang out with mm -hmm. you guys, so I know, and but it's, we have fun hanging with the kids too. It'll get easier too as they get older. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it yeah. is a lot of work. It gets easier every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. We wrap things that up? was great. Yeah. So we're gonna bring Dennis Toothpicks. and Aunt Lala in at some point. So come back, hit that subscribe button. You'll get the notification if you hit that bell when we post a new video. Yeah, and we'll see you guys next time.